What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding Godzilla vs. King Kong. So throughout the course of the MonsterVerse, there has always been fantasy ideas. Some are realistic and others are far-fetched. Now regarding the Skull Island scenes in this movie, there are plenty of ways to make plot twists and turns. A couple of days ago we talked about King Kong's axe. It is certainly possible that this was made before Godzilla vs. Kong and the opposite of that is just as likely. And if the very first guess is true, then there are many mysteries to Skull Island that have yet to been uncovered. Throughout the history of it, it has always been clear that the species of Kong rules the island. They are the main alphas. However, that power structure has always been questioned. It has been questioned by the Skull Crawlers. Obviously, the juvenile ones are not as dangerous, but they are still on the island as a small threat. And recently, some of the toy lines showcased the scale of these monsters. Godzilla being the biggest, Kong being number two, and then the Skull Crawlers being around half the height of King Kong. That would make them massive and a lot bigger than they were back in the 1970s. And with that being said, I always have talked about Skull Island uniting. After watching Kong Skull Island, it would not seem that likely, but a lot can change in the matter of a couple of decades. We don't know when the battle with the Kamazots took place, but just as a guess, let's say it took place in the early 2000s. If that is the case, and the Mire Squid, the Skull Crawlers, and all these different creatures were in danger, and King Kong was the one that saved them, then you never can tell how the power structure would change because of that. It is not completely out of the equation for these creatures to bow down to the king. He has ruled the island, and realistically with his new size, nothing on Skull Island can kill him off. We even saw something like this back in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Rodan lost to Ghidorah, therefore he bowed down. At the very end, when Ghidorah died, Rodan bowed to Godzilla, so it's not as if these creatures cannot obey. They are emotional and they do have a good understanding. So even though the idea of King Kong using the skull crawlers as hounds is probably not the most realistic thing, it is something that could be showcased. It would prove that there has been a massive change ever since Kong Skull Island. It doesn't even have to be the entire species of skull crawler on the island. It might only be a few of them that he has defeated and captured. But what do you guys think about such an idea? Is it outlandish? Is it possible? Or will it actually happen? Write all of your thoughts on this down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.